Devonport Royal Dockyard has been maintaining naval warships for over 300 years. It is the largest dockyard in Europe and is, has over three and a half miles of waterfront. It has over uh, a thousand structures here and it has the facility to operate as a small community in itself. It has uh, the power, power generation capacity, it can treat water, it's got medical facilities and it's got catering facilities. The dockyard is a, a major civil engineering facility. It's been built in, in roughly three stages. The first stage, around 300 years ago when it started, was built for wooden warships and at the time was at the cutting edge of dock development. Previous docks had been built largely of timber, but uh, the engineers at Devonport produced the first stone-built dock for building and refitting timber warships. As the Navy grew, so the dockyard grew, and uh, more docks were added, along with workshops and stores, until the area that was originally allocated was, was completely filled. 150 years ago, steamships started to appear in the Navy and the, the old dockyard in, in the south part of the, the site was no longer suitable. So a new steam yard was built further up the river. This steam yard then took over much of the refit work that was done in the, in the south yard and the south yard became a shipbuilding yard in, and many many uh, famous ships were built in, in that yard, including the, the World War II battleship HMS Warspite was built in South Yard. With the Corf battleships, the docks needed to become a lot larger, and another major expansion of the dockyard was started around about 1900. This, this expansion had to be built into the river because all the waterfront had been already developed, and, and in doing so, they needed to build a around two kilometer long coffer dam around the, the whole of the site. The, the timber needed for, for that coffer dam had to be specially cut in Hudson's Bay in Canada. And at the time, steamships weren't able to do that journey in one, one go. So, so the, the, the timber actually had to be brought by sailing ship. Today, civil engineers at Devonport are, are busier than ever. New classes of warship are coming in, that's uh, I suppose surface ships the, and submarines, and we're having to adapt the facilities that we've got to suit these, these ships. We're currently here in, in the Frigate Support Centre. This is a, a busy refit complex, and you can see uh, behind me, we've got several frigates in, in being refitted. I have found the dockyard a, a unique working environment. I'm now responsible for um, our graduate intake. I'm supervising civil engineer for all the civil engineering graduates working in the dockyard. And, and this I find particularly rewarding now that, that I'm able to hand over such a, a wealth of experience that I've gained to new graduates that are actually just starting their careers. If you have an interest in civil engineering, or even any engineering, but I do recommend civil engineering, it's a fascinating aspect of work to work in. Come and, and join a, a training scheme from uh, an organisation like the one I work for. You'll find Civil engineering offers a wealth of experience wherever you go. You can travel the world with it. You will see so many interesting things. It'll be well worth your while.